I've always liked and used Unify Access Points, but as I'm always looking for better products, I wanted to test out the Ingenious Access Points to see if they perform any better than what I'm currently using. Today I'm going to test out the Ingenious EWS 357AP, which is a 2x2 Wi-Fi 6 PoE access point. And we'll go through the setup and test the performance. If you want to know more about this access point, then watch the rest of this video. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, please do so and hit the notifications icon so you'll be notified when there's new content. Before we get into the setup and testing, let's take a quick look at the hardware and the device specs. You don't really get a whole lot in the box and it only comes with the unit, clips that are used for drop ceilings and an office environment and some screws. The mounting system on this device is not very well thought out, but it does work. As you can see for ceiling mounts, all you get is the slot in the device for a traditional slot mount. On the positive side, it does mount close to the ceiling and it keeps a nice low profile. As for the specs, the EWS 377AP is a dual band Wi-Fi access point capable of combined speeds of up to 1800 megabits per second. It has a gigabyte of RAM allowing the access point to handle up to 1024 concurrent client devices, which is significantly more than the Unify's 300 that they publish. It has support for fast roaming 802.11k, 802.11v, and 802.11r, which allows for seamless roaming of each client across multiple access points. It supports W3, the latest in Wi-Fi security protocols, and it has a standard PoE 802.3at 1 gigabit PoE port. To set up 1AP, you can easily use the mobile app to get it up and running and for making changes. It works extremely well for one access point. But if you have two or more, I suggest using uh, SkyKey or an EasyMaster software, as their app really doesn't work all that well with multiple units. I'll cover the SkyKey and multiple access points on a future video, as I'm currently in the process of testing it. So let's go through the setup for a single access point and test the performance. Once you download the app and launch it, it'll take you through the wizard so that you can set up that device. We'll select single setting and hit next. If you haven't already done so, it's going to want you to power up the, uh, the device. And once it's powered up, you'll need to go to the Wi-Fi settings, select management Wi-Fi. Ingenious has a slightly different approach in that you're accessing a dedicated management Wi-Fi that only allows you to make changes and do setups. It's only active once you power up the device and shuts itself down after 15 minutes. It also blocks internet access and doesn't allow you to go through. Once you connect, type the default password, which is 12345678, and hit next to proceed. Next, you'll be prompted to change the username and admin password, which is always the right way to do things. You select your country and hit next. This part of the setup allows you to create your SSID, and by default, the SSID will be the same for 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, although you can change it. I prefer to have it my default Wi-Fi to be combined and separate things at a later time. I also wanted to mention that you can create up to 8 Wi-Fi networks on the ingenious access points versus a limit of 4 on the Unify. Once you hit finish and hit apply, you'll be prompted that you successfully applied these changes. You can at this point add another device, but as I mentioned earlier, the multi-device configuration from this app isn't all that great. And if you're going to plan on using multiple access points, then download the EasyMaster software, or better yet, get a Sky Key, which will make your life a lot easier. And we'll cover these on the future video. As you can see from the testing, the Ingenious performs quite well. It's roughly on par with the Unified device, though at a lower price point. As a single access point, this device is a great value with excellent performance. If you're going to add multiple access points, you'll want to use the EasyMaster software or add a Sky Key, which will still cost less than the equivalent Unify setup. However, with multiple devices, the story isn't quite that simple. In my next video, we'll cover setting up multiple devices using a Sky Key, so make sure you check back to see what happens before buying multiple devices. I really still wasn't crazy about their choice of mounting for this device as I found it a lot more difficult to mount on the ceiling. But basically, you only mount the device once. I guess putting up with that weakness, given the price advantage, is probably worth it. 
Overall, I'm impressed with this access point and its performance. And if you're looking for a single access point for your home or your office, this will work well for you. I'll be doing a second video to show adding an EWS 377 AP, which is the 4x4 version, and using a sky key for multiple access points. So definitely check back for that video before making your final decision. Make sure you subscribe and don't forget to give it a like if you found this useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.